The Bone Chill event is finally here, and it includes two new free outfits to grind for, a bunch of charms and player cards to decorate your characters with, and a bunch of paid cosmetics to add to the Fear of Missing Out collection. Now, sadly, there are no special offerings unlike in the Halloween event, and the only time-limited thing you can get are winter party starters for survivors, so if you are a killer main, expect nothing new in the bloodwebs. Let's start with the new free reward store, which follows the exact same mechanics as the Halloween event. In order to purchase the free items, you need to grind a new event currency, which you can get by completing challenges. As of the release of this video, only the first page is available. Once you get enough rewards, you will get a milestone extra prize, with the final rewards being the head cosmetic for Jeff and the Christmas weapon for Wraith. Now let's talk about in-game gameplay elements, which are almost the same for both sides, unlike the Halloween event. All over the map, two new elements will spawn, snowmen and snow piles. Let's start with the snowmen. There are two types of snowmen, the first one being a mimic. If you come close to them, they will jump scare you and explode, and these can reveal your position to the rest of players, so be careful. The next type of snowman is the classic one which you can jump into, however this time the devs have added a third person camera for killers, which gives you more awareness of your surroundings. The snowman will make you move slower and also give you blindness so you can no longer see auras, but you look cooler and you also have undetectable if you're a killer, so you might jump scare a survivor. Killers can attack from the snowman by pressing their attack button but there seems to be a slight delay on the camera position that can confuse players. For survivors, if the killer hits you, it does not protect you from a hit or give endurance like in the past events, and instead you will go down. If you want to leave on your own, just press the run button and the snowman will explode. They also kept a secret easter egg with the snowman, and just like in the past events, you're able to high five other players while you are in one to create a sound effect for it. The next gameplay element added is even cooler, and that's the snow piles. You will be able to find various snow piles all over the map, and you can interact with them as a killer and a survivor. Once you do, you will get 6 snow schools. By pressing the Q button for PC, and I don't know which one for console, you will throw a snow school in front of your camera. These are not like the Huntress hatchets or Trickster knives, instead, they seem to have a random element on them, sometimes they go down, other times they are thrown on a curve. They also seem to have auto aim the further away the players are, or that was just pure luck. You can throw the snow schools to survivors and killers alike, which will make a sound and also cover their camera for a little bit in snow. You also get blood points for it, that's all the snow schools do, so just use it to fight against other survivors or killers. I am going to be honest, the event itself is not as big as the Halloween one, but I find the snowmen and snow schools to be very funny. It's fun to randomly throw snow schools during the match, and I expect some fun clips to happen soon just because of how fun the event is. Also, the new cosmetics are really good, the rewards are really solid, and this time around, even the charms actually look really cool, so I am going to grind for them. Let me know what you think of the event, thank you for watching and Merry Christmas!